And I apologize for, for just using the word Hispanic, but I, I was not wrong. Again, these are Hispanic. Reality is they are Hispanic. A bill targeting Hispanic criminals, saying they're bringing drugs into the state. If he wants to address a, a larger issue, then he should address the larger issue. And that is where we begin at six. A lawmaker is pointing to Hispanics as one of the leading causes of fentanyl deaths in Oklahoma. And to put a stop to it, he has filed a bill and it would deem Hispanic criminals as terrorists. News Force Capitol Bureau Chief Kaylee Olivas joins us now with details. Kaylee. Well, Jolene, Kevin, that bill states any Hispanic living in Oklahoma who is either part of a criminal street gang or has been convicted of a gang related crime will be labeled as a terrorist. After talking with him, that language will likely change. It's scary the direction we're going. In 2018, Oklahoma saw 39 fentanyl related deaths. Jumping to 2022, 619 people reportedly died from the drug. Do you suggest we as a state slow that number down, slow it down from increasing. Is that through legislation? Is that through more resources? What do you think? Yeah, it's a combination. Uh, you got to have a multi-prong approach. Education, enforcement, and treatment. That's the approach the State Bureau of Narcotics says will help. Republican Representative J.J. Humphrey says he's working on the enforcement aspect with this new bill. It would label Hispanics who have been convicted of a street gang related crime or are just simply affiliated with the gang, a terrorist. We're seeing massive people killed by these chemicals that China are providing, but they're using the Hispanic uh, Mexican gangs to bring those up and, and we're pretty close to the borders. But no other ethnic group is mentioned in the bill, just Hispanics. If he wants to address a, a larger issue, then he should address the larger issue. But I think singling out one group or another, like I said, nobody is in favor or I don't think that there's an appetite anymore. While the State Bureau of Narcotics confirms Mexican cartels play a big role in fentanyl distribution in Oklahoma, the Federal Sentencing Commission reports 86 percent of fentanyl trafficking offenders are U.S. citizens. I apologize for, for just using the word Hispanic. But I, I was not wrong. Again, these are Hispanic. Reality is they are Hispanic. We need to stop drinking the poison on both sides of the aisle that, that caused these types of divisive bills to, to come up and to be seriously considered. Well, Representative J.J. Humphrey does plan to change that term Hispanic to undocumented illegals. But Senator Michael Brooks essentially says while the damage is already done, he doesn't see this bill surviving the session, which starts February 5th.